welcome back to my channel. Today is just a little sit down video that I learned something this week about high school. I went earlier this week, if you saw in my video blog when it was Jean's birthday. In the beginning, I went to go get my diploma and my award. When I walked in that school, I just went to get my diploma, but when I came out, I just remembered everything about school. Like, online has made a change and everything that I forgot about what I learned in school, what I, what memories I made in school. But looking at the gym, the basketball court, I remember bad memories, good memories, a time that I got hit, poke in the eye by a basketball for a game. <laughs> but there's a lot of memories I made in Chidayuni and I really miss that. Like all my batchmates when we perform pep squads for grade 7, 8, 9, 10, and like I don't even see my classmates. I didn't even see Celine that time, but I see Celine a lot of times, but not with the batch that much. But when I went there, I went to see my teachers, and then there was this sad news that I heard. My Filipino teacher of grade 4, when 7 years ago she was my teacher, she unfortunately passed away. When I went there in Jenny, I found out she died the very early, oh, yes, the day before, I think, but it was in the morning from cardiac arrest, and I, I felt sad that moment, because even though that I didn't have good grades in her class, or I didn't really cooperate with her much, because she couldn't speak with me, like, she couldn't communicate well with me, but, like, it's just sad that to hear a teacher passed away, even though that I wasn't close to her, but I felt like tearing up a little bit. Then more I saw all my teachers gathered in one place and then it just reminds me of the old times when I was with them. I always like talk with the teachers at lunchtime even if I'm not close to them. They were like my friends that I mainly had that I only talked to whenever I was free. I was very close with my grade 10 advisor. Me and her always talk during lunchtime or in the early morning when she comes. Also, my Filipino teacher of grade 10 and high school, I'm also close with her. So remembering about high school, what you need to know is that you need to treasure every memory that you have because you don't know how long it's going to last before it ends. So about the high school, the number one thing, you need to always treasure your memories. I didn't treasure my memories as much as I thought I should have. A lot of lunchtime, I didn't have many people to go with lunch. It's always been the same three people. Or like taking turns off and all. But like I didn't like bother to even like join any of the outings, the get-togethers, where it was the whole batch outside of school. I didn't feel comfortable going outside by myself because I'm not used to like traveling with other people other than my family. Or I haven't actually traveled without my family to some places around here. And so I just feel like I have like that anxiety and scared if I travel with other people, not my family. Because I'm not, I'm afraid like if something bad might happen, like what would happen. But I wish I did go to those times because I could have like explored and see a lot more places. There's also a lot of things I tried to join but it was the very last year that I decided to join. Like in doing band, doing the twirler, doing more in speech. I liked journalism when I was in grade 9 and grade 10. It was very fun to me to make journals. And I also just started doing like photography since grade 9. So I started very late in things, but you should start already making memories when you already enter the school. Don't wait because it's been already a year since I last seen my classmates. 
pandemic happened on March 10, I think. So it's already been more than a year than I've seen my classmates. And by their photos, I saw a lot of them has changed, mainly in their hair. Different colors, but I bet they're still the same people. <laughs> But you should treasure your memories always while it lasts. Even if there's like arguments you've had with your friends, always have closure. Do not let it go on, otherwise it will haunt you. I had the closure one of my friendships I had with one of my closest friends that we turned into just friends. I don't like to do any video regarding her right now and her respect or her privacy. And if you want to see a video I did do about her, it's that song I made called Goodbye. I opened their card. It has a lot of views from people. I don't know why, but that song was meant for her. And I just wanted to say what I wanted to say without saying it to her. But that's how I closed the friendship, by having a talk one-on-one -on -one on her to really settle everything. So if you have any arguments with your friends, close it. Like if you guys are not going to be friends anymore, just close it at the end already. Anyway, high school doesn't last forever, you're probably not going to see them again, or you'll only see them once or twice in your lifetime. I still miss her, but I know she's in a happier friendship now. I see it all over social media. <laughs> But I, I'm okay with it now. But enjoy every moment you have. If you're elderly, please tell your kids to enjoy life to the fullest. Not when they graduate school, but like when they're in school too. School is not just about learning lessons, knowledge, but it's also to help you build up some self-esteem, self-confidence, do what you like, join activities like sports or doing journalism band and Judy the band was easy to get in but like the last year grade 10 it was difficult already but there's a lot in Chidini that you can do even though that it's not a very big of a school but it's a nice school because it taught me a lot that one day I realized that I'm getting older and so are we like oh, we're all getting older time has gone so fast the last time I walked in that school, I did not expect to come to go there and then feel like crying. Even though I visit Chidini all the time, it's just like, I remember the kids, my friends were also the little kids from kindergarten to grade 6, they're grade 7 now, but I always hang out with them in the morning, I always bring the attendance books around to each classroom. And I always talk to the kids and I'm there. If some of them have problems, I listen to them and I help them out. So it's also about the personality of yourself. Like you don't have to be the popular girl, the popular man, or be the all-time best or person. Just be yourself. If you're a comedian, just be comedy and be funny. I have lots of classmates who are like that before. But you should always enjoy every moment you have because remember, look at what your parents are doing. You don't see them hang out with their friends as much, do you see that? Because they're always busy for you, for you to have your happiness. So you have to enjoy every moment that's given to you. If you're in music, continue it. If you're enjoying something, be happy. Because if you're doing something that's stressful, is that really life? Because life is supposed to be, you have to do what you want. You know there's going to be hard times. Of course, that's life, so duh. High school, it's difficult. College, difficult. Like, when you're in school, don't fo always focus on your studies. Like, of course, studying is good, getting honors is amazing, but after I already earned honors, it's like, I completed it already. But what else did I achieve? Just the grade, right? But once you do grades, also put time towards your friends, your family. Then just do a little bit of school once in a while. Because when you grow up, you're still going to do school. For your kids. 
or your grandkids or your nephews or your niece, you're still going to end up doing their homework. So, yeah. Better off that you do more of fun, family, happy memories than doing stressful nights on school. Just don't, don't do last minute works so that you won't be stressed the very next day before that. Because I've been through that so many times where I forgot there's a homework. But just keep a checklist of everything and then you'll get through it. So that is what I have to say about some high school advice that to somehow make your memories priceless and unforgettable because you never know when the last day will end and you probably won't see your friends ever again or not often as you used to. So thank you so much for watching. That is what I have for you today. If you want more advice videos, comment below what and some questions. I'll be seeing you in next video. Bye!